Hey everyone, this is Mike from Real Life Counseling and I am so happy to be here and to have you here. This is a little bit of a change from my old channel, which was a little bit more sedate, a little bit more quiet, a little bit more personal and one-on-one. -on -one. Um, now I'm going to kind of uh, <clears throat> make it a little bit more upbeat and a little bit more expansive in who I want to reach. What this is going to do is this is going to teach you how to take counseling theories and philosophical theories and apply them in the real world. So we've had well over a hundred years of psychological theories, we've had thousands of years of philosophical ideas, and we probably had maybe 50 years going back to the mid-century, mid-20th century of Zig Ziglar and all that of self-improvement. So we have a lot of information, a lot of technology, a lot of uh, knowledge about how to make people happy, how to make them successful. So I'm going to have videos that are going to teach you, number one, the theory. The theory that we're going to learn from, whether it's psychological theory, philosophical, uh, self-improvement. Then we're going to go to different steps on how to really learn these ideas, uh, not just at an intellectual level, that's the theory, but at an emotional level. So you really understand and can practice taking these ideas and incorporating them to who you are as a person. And then finally, there's going to be an action plan. How do you then take these ideas and utilize them in the real world? How do you take psychological theories, philosophical theories, self-improvement theories, and use them in your interactions with other people and with yourself so you can be happier, more successful, have better relationships, um, be financially successful, uh, you know, deal with depression, anxiety, stress, anger. So we're going to take uh, an approach that deals with some of the major theories in all these areas. I have a background in uh, counseling, in social work, and in education. I work in those fields professionally, and I also have a background in law. I graduated law school. Uh, don't hate me for that. Uh, so. I, I do have an interesting background. I also have training in cognitive behavioral therapy, neurolinguistic programming, transactional analysis, biofeedback, hypnotherapy, um, uh, logotherapy. So uh, I have a background in uh, reality therapy and choice theory and positive psychology. There's been a new movement the last 10, 15, 20 years or so about um, focusing on how we do things well, not, not what's wrong with us, but what's right with us. And so I have training in all of these areas and experience in using all of these areas going back many years. So I'm going to bring those concepts and those ideas to you and teach you what's the theory, how to incorporate those ideas at an emotional level, which also includes practice and putting reminders up, and, and eventually I'm going to put out some uh, guided visualization and guided imagery, because most of what I'm going to teach you is at a conscious level. But there's also the unconscious. And to get things at a much deeper level, where the conscious mind isn't so resistant to ideas that it's a little frightened of, or a little skeptical of, so I'm going to eventually put out these kind of guided imagery and visualization, self-hypnosis, if you will, um, uh, programs where you can also reinforce what I'm teaching you at the conscious level at the subconscious level. So uh, we're going to start, and I'm going to start, I'm going to try to have a video out uh, every day. And what I would like to do also is I want to start off working with kids. You know, we've all heard the old saying that it's better to build, uh, it's easier to build a well child than to fix a broken adult. Well, we're not broken. We're all, we're all human. But I'm going to start off with um, helping young people, uh, if you're a parent, if you're a teacher, if you, uh, even if you're an aunt or an uncle, and we're going to have to, have to develop self-esteem, self-acceptance, confidence, and optimism in young people. And of course, a lot of these techniques can apply to you as well. So uh, I'm going to start a little bit with, with working with young people. As a teacher, um, I have a special place in my heart for young people, and uh, but I also love working with adults. In my private practice as a therapist, I work with uh, adults as a coach. And so I'm going to make sure that we use all of these techniques, this wealth of information, from psychology and philosophy and all these great self-improvement programs to help you achieve 
whatever you want to achieve. Um, so this is going to be a personal self-growth, self-improvement. And however you take these to improve your life in whatever way is important to you is great. And I'm going to want to get feedback from you and going to have a dialogue with you and, and, and listen to comments. So uh, I look forward to seeing you quite often. Again, I'm going to put these out maybe once a day if I can. Uh, ironically, I have a vacation coming up uh, in another uh, couple of days. So uh, I may actually start a couple of videos and then have a week gap. So I apologize. Probably bad timing, but I'm going to go with it because no stress, no worries, no fears, no anxieties. Uh, and I will see you very shortly in the future. Take care.